Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday of the fifth week in ordinary time. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass in a very special way for the peace and healing in our country. We also pray for our brothers and sisters Chinese who are celebrating the New Year today. We also pray for all the souls in Purgatory, Ronald Handug, Father Dexter Toledo, Anselmo Balatbat, Antonina Agulto. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. God, our Creator, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Savior, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. God, our destiny, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like gods who know that what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving about in the garden, 
at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid, them, hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sins is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord. And you took away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter. From this stress you will pres preserve me. With glad cries of freedom you will ring me round. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. And then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Epatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi lamang importante bakit ginagawa mo ang bagay. Ginagawa mo ang isang aksyong humihingi ng iyong pagtugon. Mahalaga na malinaw sa atin bakit ginagawa natin ito. The reason why am I doing these things? In the first reading on the book of Genesis, God was really asking the reason why are you doing these things? Examination of motive is very important. Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The serpent would ask. We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it lest you die. And the serpent said, No. The woman saw that the tree was good for food. 
pleasing to the eye and desirable for gaining wisdom. She ate the fruit of knowledge with a desire to gain more wisdom. And when she ate the fruit together with the man, the eyes of both of them were open and they realized they were naked. Sa tukso ng ahas, kinain ang bunga ng karunungan. The reason why am I doing these things? Ayaw kong maging tao Gusto kong maging Diyos. Napapahamak tayo kapag hindi natin alam ang dahilan bakit ginagawa natin ito. Bakit hinihingi natin ang mga bagay na hindi natin naiintindihan. Malinaw ba sa atin ang ating mga pagpapasya ang mga dahilan bakit ginagawa natin ito? Nais kong gawin ito sa dahilang ito'y makabubuti sa akin. We need to go back to the very root of the very reason why we are doing these things. Nakakatakot kung hindi natin alam ang dahilan. Nakakatakot kung tayo'y nabubulagan lamang na siyang nagiging ugat ng ating mga kahilingan. We beg the Lord to grant us the grace to open our heart and to listen to His Word, to listen to His Son, for us to be guided in our decisions, to be guided in our work, to be guided in everything that we do. May mga pagkakataong akala natin mabuti ang ating ginagawa. Noon palay tayo nabubulagan lamang dahil sa mga ibang motibasyon bakit ginagawa natin ito. Examination of motive is very important. Why am I saying these things? Why am I doing these things? There is only one sacred motive for us to do the right thing. The motive of following the will of our loving God. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the church and her members may be receptive to the healing message of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may open our ears and our hearts to the pleas of the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always use the gift of speech to proclaim the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the deep and the dumb may be encouraged by the sensitivity and kindness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rest in peace and may those who mourn be comforted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy O church. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him and in Him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, 
Grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on immaculate us. heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. I'm straight for